the virus made me stop selling on eBay. I didn't want to go to the post office. I'll make it quick. If somebody comes, I'll run back out. Yeah, don't worry. Right, am, I, am I going around back? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, well, you got a shady spot right there. Well, it wasn't until just a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a lot of stuff. I wonder if I'll find anything. We'll see here. Lots of stuff. Hello. Nice old Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you today? I'm doing all right. Doing all right. You guys are staying in the shade. I, I don't blame you. Yeah. Shop craft. It's going to be a rough four more hours out here. <laughs> you had many sales today? I have. Good. You sell pretty darn good, believe it or not. Toro. Model numbers help, though. I don't know what the model number is. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. It's starting to get a little steamy out here, though. Yeah, I gotta get my walk in too and get it over with. Or enjoy it. How about that? <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
grab our filters. Tupperware. So y'all moving, you said? Yeah, we don't have a place yet, but we just are downsizing. Yep. We want to go to one level and yeah. move to Richmond. Yeah. I hear you. Are you a born and bred in No. I am uh, born and bred in Southern California, if you can believe that. Oh, the lady that was just here is a California. Oh yeah. Yeah, small world, you know. Genius for lovers. You like it here? Yeah, it's it's uh it's definitely different, but yeah. it I enjoy it. Good. It's an old baseball glove there. Yeah. I like that. These pipes are intriguing to me. Tons of pipes. No, I think I'm going to go to the front and grab my... Uh, I've got a bag in there. I'm going to go grab and come back and make you an offer on some stuff. That sound like a plan to you? Like Let me go grab my bag. It'll be easier. Plus, I want to look at those clothes. All right. Zippers. Yeah, yeah. I found them at a garage sale, paid a dollar a piece. Wow. I was pretty pleased. Okay, so I am interested in everything I put in that pile over there. Uh huh. Hmm. How much you want for that? It's not very sturdy. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is a little wobbly for sure. Oh yeah. Let's see. So tempting. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll clean that up. Well, I don't know how you want to do this. You would really just want me to make you an offer? Yeah, you, you, you know what you're doing. You, you pick good stuff. You one, just two. Do something fair. Uh, one, two. So much cool stuff. Like it. How about this thing? I have. It was my grandfather's, and it was in my house growing up. And I have even researched that. It's got nuts I have in it. No idea. Now I can find things on eBay that are similar, but nothing exactly like that. Uh huh. I don't know what the heck it is, but it's got. I uh, can't even. Brazil nuts? Is that what they're called? I Looks like Brazil nuts in there. And you can't get them out. <laughs> that is weird. Alright, look at all these pipes here. Okay, so I'm going to take this box and put it with my stack here and offer you $50. Okay. Deal? Yep. Okay. Deal. Now let me come up with the change here and hand it to you. I had 20, there we go, 20, 40. I have a box right there. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Did you trust me? I probably should have showed it to you. Okay. All right, good. <laughs> it's in there, I promise. Have a great day. You do the same. Let me load this thing up here. All right, hey, good luck on your move. Good, thank you. Uh -huh. All right, y'all, that was kind of cool. I might make this its own video and show you what I got here. All right, it's a great little pickup here. I paid 50 bucks for all of it, and I really like this stuff. So this 
I just thought was cool. They look like Brazil nuts in there. And when I got home, this is one of these in this batch that I just had to look up. Matter of fact, I didn't even get home yet. I stopped and was waiting for my daughter. And I looked these things up. And they go for like $25 plus shipping. So these things are pretty cool. I can't remember what they were called, but they're hand carved. You can't get anything out of them. So, I don't know. It's pretty cool. A little Rubbermaid cooler. Those go for 10 to 15 plus shipping. Haven't looked this one up. This little old Granger tin. I'm sure it's got some value. I don't know about eBay, but I can certainly put it in the booth. All right. I don't know exactly what this is. It'll probably end up in the booth. This is a cool Charlotte Hornets hat. Arena Club. It's in really good condition. Definitely cool looking vintage 90s colors. Pretty good shape. I gotta say, new era. Hmm. Didn't even realize it was new era, so that's cool. Medium large. Next up is this Bruins hat. I almost didn't pick it up, but I thought it was pretty cool. So I ended up picking it up. This is why I almost didn't pick it up, but that'll clean out. Toothbrush, some water, a little bit of soap. Be good to go. The game. So that's a cool little vintage 90s hat. This cool old glove. Got a couple of interesting things. It says New York Yankees right here. I saw it say 1953, somewhere on here. Got some autographs that I can't make out. Who the heck knows? exactly what this thing says but this model number g53 will tell the tale and i am guessing it's probably a 25 dollars glove plus shipping kind of cool looking the dutch masters all these filters sell them in lots together they'll sell they're not big money i don't know what this is and it looks like there's some stuff underneath it too some kind of pipe cleaner maybe so we'll get some money out of these, not much, but a little bit. Some filters in there, charcoal filters, and there's another box full of something down there. Who knows? All right, Tupperware salt and pepper shakers. Those will go on eBay. Tupperware ketchup and mustard. Those will go on eBay. And pretty good money here. I looked up some of the brands, and they're going to sell. So I don't know about all of them, but there's like 35 here maybe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, probably 35 or so. So pretty pretty conservative estimate to say you'll make a minimum of $5 profit a piece. There'll be some that'll make $30 profit, some that'll make 20, and then some you have to lot them together and sell them off. And we'll we'll see what we can do. So Briarwood, most of them are Briarwood, imported from England. There's Dr. Grabo or whatever you want to call that. I don't know how you pronounce it. I saw a couple of really interesting brand names in here that I think will sell pretty well. So Some of them are junk, some of them are good. I'm going to say $200 worth of pipes right there. What we'll do is we'll pick out five or six really good ones, lock the rest up, or maybe sell them off for a little bit of money each in the booth. That's probably what we'll do. That one's cool. Look at that. Falcon. I don't know. Probably not worth too much, though. $10, $15 bucks probably. All right, we have a Sony. I didn't even look this thing up. I have not sold this one, which is surprising because I've sold a bunch of these. This one looks pretty cool, so we'll test it out, see how much it's worth, see if it works. And then a Panasonic recording, fast playback. This is not a radio. It's just a recorder, so I don't know that it'll have that much value, but we'll check it out. And here is obviously why I bought it, if you were watching. That's uh, legit Rolling Stones. These are all vintage and these are all the real deal. Single stitcher. Actually, this one's not. This one's a double stitcher, even though this one's probably the oldest of the bunch. 1989. And that is Brockham, a good brand. I have sold that before. You can see how thin that material is. Made in the USA. 1989 tour. Budweiser presents Rolling Stone Steel Wheels. So that one's going to go pretty good. I haven't looked any of these up, but my, that's, that's got to be a $50 shirt, I would think. We'll see. Grateful Dead, Jerry Garcia. This was made when he died, obviously, 1995. I remember that, being in California, graduating high school, made in the USA. So who knows about that one? I'm sure it's got some value, $25, $30 bucks at least. Johnny Winter. Some Johnny Winter shirts are good. I'll have to check this one out two-sided which is cool i think the jerry garcia one was not playing the blues that should sell too hootie and the blowfish i don't know how much value that one has hootie's got a following though 
So I'm sure we'll get some value out of it. 1995 as well. Summer Camp with Trucks Tour. Check that one out. And I really like this one. Dave Matthews Van because it's tie-dyed. 2002. So cut through. Size large. That one is nice. I think that one will have some value too. Uh, let's see. Almond Brothers. I've sold some Almond Brothers ones in the past. And see if it's got a date on it there. 1996. Pretty cool looking. The mushrooms on the road in 96. A little faded, but still good. All right, Moody Blues in Search of the Lost Chord. I don't know about that one, but I'm sure somebody will buy it. I think that Rolling Stone ones is good. The Dave Matthews is good. Almond Brothers is good. So I'm, I'm really liking this lot. I think we'll make some money off of these vintage t-shirts for sure. All right, well, we might track this one and see how well we did. This isn't going to be an unbelievable profit, but it's going to be a pretty solid one for sure. All right, thanks for joining us for this particular little sale. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I enjoyed myself. And if you want to see how much we get to sell this stuff for, head on over to the Commonwealth Flipper channel and you can check us out over there. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.